creating missiles to shoot from our spaceship. Um, at the moment, we're just going to make them show up, and in the next video, we're actually going to make them move up and off the screen. So last time we were here, we had our all our scenes showing up. We have our splash scene, our title scene, our menu scene. We have the button that you press to start, and then we have our spaceship and we can make it move back and forth and it will not go off of the screen. So that's where we were last time. What we're going to do this time is add when you touch the space bar, there's going to be a missile shoot from the middle of our spaceship. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually grab the asset that we're going to be using and load it into memory so that we have access to it. So just like we loaded the background in the spaceship, we're going to create a new asset and we're gonna have the key for it called missile. And if you look in assets, we have this missile asset right here that we've already opened and it's going to look like this right here. So that's going to show up in the middle of our spaceship when we touch the space bar. So once we have it preloaded, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create this new construct called a group. So instead of just having a single item all by itself, we're actually going to have this object called a group and we're going to add elements to the group and the elements that we're going to add are going to be our, our missiles that we're shooting. So we're going to create this variable called missile group, and it's going to be a physics group. So the objects that are going to show up are going to have physics, just like our spaceship. So they're going to have this little bounding box around them, and they can act with physics, which is going to be useful because in the next lesson, we can add a velocity to them, and then they will move up the screen all by themselves for us. So that's going to be useful. Next thing we need to do is we need to once again create another variable to keep track of keyboard input and this time it's going to be for the spacebar. So we're going to create a variable called key space object and it's going to be looking at the spacebar. And every time we hit the spacebar at the beginning, every time we hit the space bar and hold it down, we want a missile to show up or be added to the group. So just like we added left and right, and we created an if statement for that, we're going to do the exact same thing, and we're going to create an if statement for the space bar object, and if it is down, if that is the exact same as true, then what we want to do is we want to actually add a missile to that group. So to add the missile, the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create an instance of it. So we're going to create a variable called a single missile. or sorry, a new missile, and it's going to be a physics sprite. And just for convenience of trying to figure out where we're going to place it, we're actually going to place it right on top of the spaceship. So whenever we press the space bar right on top of the spaceship, it's going to show up right where the little hole is. That's where the missiles are going to show up from. We're going to create a new missile. So this variable is going to hold that missile. And then we're going to, since we're creating several of these, we're actually going to take it and we're going to add it to the group. So we take this new missile and we add it to the group. Now remember this if statement is inside update. So 60 times a second, as long as the space bar is down, then a new missile will show up. So that's not exactly what we're looking for, but we're just going to see what's going to happen and make sure 
that it actually is showing up. So we're going to go through our different scenes and we're going to start and we can move our spaceship back and forth. And what I'm going to do is while I'm moving the spaceship to the right, I'm going to press the spacebar. So you can see a whole bunch of them show up because as long as I'm holding down the spacebar, then more and more missiles show up. So this is not great for our game because anyone will be able to just win completely because 60 times a second, because this is in update, 60 times a second, a new missile is going to show up. So clearly that's not the best solution. What I want for my gain is you have to press the spacebar and then release and then repress again to make the another one show up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a variable called fire missile. And when I, I'm going to set, it's going to be a Boolean. It's going to be set to false. When we press the space bar, I'm going to toggle it to true, but I'm only going to make a new missile show up when it is false. So when it's toggled to true, I'm going to let one fire, but no more as long as the space bar is down. And then when I release the space bar, I'm going to flip the, this variable back to false. And then when I hit the space bar again, you'll be able to fire another one. So we're going to use this variable to keep track of letting us only fire one at a time. So I'm going to create it globally to the scene and it's going to be called fire missile. And by default or at the beginning, it's going to be assigned false. And then what I'm going to do in update, I'm going to take the code that I've already written and I'm going to put that into an if statement. So go back to my code that I've already written. And instead of, oh, sorry, that's in create, gotta go back to update. Once I've hit the space bar, I'm gonna do a check to say, now nah, wait a minute, only create this new one if that variable fire missile is false. So inside here, I'm gonna create an if statement and I'm gonna check this dot fire missile and I'm going to check to see is that the same as false. If it is, then that's great. We're allowed to actually fire a missile. So I'm going to take this code that I had from last time and shove it inside. And that's interesting. The changes that we've had, but they didn't lose anything here. There we go. Obviously, I lost my inter internet connection there for a second. So inside here, don't need this because I made a copy of it. So only when I actually fire the missile the first time, because it's false, will one be created. Now, to keep track of what's happening here, that we're actually firing a missile. We have to toggle this variable. So once we've fired it, we have to set this variable to true. So we have to, sorry, this dot fire missile is now signed true. And that will toggle our variable. And then at the beginning, it's false. We set it to true, we're allowed to fire one. The next time it comes through here, 1 60th of a second later, this variable is now true, so it's not equal to false, and we won't be able to actually fire another one. So at this point, we're only gonna be able to fire a single missile, which is a step in the right direction, but it's not perfect either. So now that we're here, I press the space bar, one shows up. No matter how many times I press the space bar again, another one is not going to show up. So we checked 
spacebar is down, but once we release it, we then need to change this Boolean, this variable, back to false so that we can create another missile to show up. So we just need to check, do another if statement and do another check to make sure when key space is up that we reset this boolean. So instead of typing code, be good lazy programmers, it's going to be very similar to this. Instead of is down, it should be is up. And if is up is the same as true, then we need to set the variable, sorry, fire missile, and we need to set it back to false. So the first time we come through and the space bar is down, this variable will be false. We can fire a missile, we set it to true, as long as the space bar continues to be held down, only one will show up. As soon as we lift it back up, and that becomes true because we lifted it up, we reset the variable to false, and then when we put it back down again, this is false, and another one will show up. So hopefully this will be more of what we're looking for. So now as I move my spaceship across and I press the spacebar, it only happens as often as I tap and release, which is much better than we had last time. So notice that our little missiles have a little purple box around them. They will react to physics. And in the next lesson, what I will do is make it so that the missiles will move up and off the top of the screen. And when they go off the top of the screen, we're clearly going to have to remove them from memory so that we don't overload the memory.